Do you know you can actually make money on social media just by reposting videos from TikTok? Yes, you heard me right. You can actually make a lot of money off YouTube, Facebook just by taking videos from TikTok and then reposting it on these platforms. Now you are probably wondering, how do you get to do this legally? Well, the truth is that TikTok actually allows you to save their videos, but then just saving their videos and re-uploading it might not make you money until you watch this video till the very end. So hello guys, in this video I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can actually make money off YouTube and Facebook just by taking videos from TikTok and then reposting it over there. And the beauty of this is that you actually don't have to show your face on camera. All you simply have to do is that get this video, do a little work on it as I'm going to share with you and then repost them on these platforms and then get monetized and then start making money without having to show your face on camera. So hello guys. When it comes to making money just by taking videos from TikTok and then sending it over to YouTube and Facebook, there are simply some few steps that you need to follow. However, before we can get started, you are going to need two applications. One of them being a video editor and in this scenario, you can go for either CapCut or InShot so you can use any of those. And then secondly, you are going to need CapCut, um, I say CapCut, you are going to need TikTok itself because that's where you are going to get the main videos from that I'll be using to make money from this platform. So let me show you that really quickly. So the first thing is that you need to open up TikTok. Now let me just go back and then probably mute my phone. Now we are inside TikTok. Now here is the thing you need to do. So when it comes to reposting videos from TikTok onto Facebook and YouTube and making money, you have to first of all search for the kind of videos you need to post. So for this particular tutorial, I'll be using funny clips for an example. So what we are literally going to do is that what we are going to get a lot of funny clips, at least a minimum of five minutes per video. So let me just show you how you can do that. So first you come over to TikTok and then you can see that it's something I've been doing and I've been searching them lately. You can see them over there. So you simply search for funny videos, TikTok or funny videos, laugh and all of that. So what you simply do is you search for the videos like this and then you look through, you look at the most funny ones there and then at least upload one every single day. So what you can simply do is that what you look at these videos here. And then once you come over to the video, for example, I'm going to need this video. So what I'm simply doing is I'll click on the share button here. And then I'll just click on this save down here on TikTok. You can actually see it down there. You click on it. And TikTok will start saving the video right under here. So now what you simply have to do is that what you simply have to do this for multiple videos. Like just look for funny, funny videos and then save them. So you can see I'm trying, to, I'm currently saving one so another will not save. So I just have to wait for this one to finish. Then I'll save more and then we'll get straight into the tutorial again. I've saved about three or four videos already. So now after saving the videos, now we'll get into the main work itself, which is trying to do a little editing on these videos before uploading it over onto your Facebook or YouTube channel. So now let me show you how you can also do that. So for that, if you downloaded InShot, you go straight into InShot. If you downloaded CapCut, you go straight into CapCut. And for me, for those of you who are new to this channel, I mainly use CapCut for my tutorials due to the more features they have and all of that. So it's not I'm promoting CapCut, just that they are more easy and straightforward for me to use. And I've also used InShot before, but for this tutorial, let's go with CapCut actually. So once you open your CapCut application, you simply have to wait for CapCut to open up so you can get started. So now once it pops up like this, you are going to get this ad. You just have to click on skip. So once you come over to your CapCut dashboard like this, the next thing you need to do is I simply click on. Simply click on where it says create. Now once you click on create, the thing you need to do here is I need to import in all the videos you saved, right? Now the set of funny videos you saved. You need to import all of them right inside CapCut. For example, I will just save this, get this, get this. And then I'll click on the add right below here. I believe you already seen everything on the side there. So now once you add them up like this, now one big mistake a lot of you do is that what? When you take videos from Cap from TikTok, you tend to blur out um, the person's handle and all of that. Now here's my advice for you. Let the TikTok watermark show on the video. Let the person tag show on the video. Don't bother yourself about it. Now I keep hearing that um, when you, Facebook and the rest see watermark, they do reduce your engagement. 
Well, that is kind of true and not always true as well because I've seen so many videos with CapCut Watermark get a lot of views. And on my Facebook page as well, I've also seen videos with uh, CapCut Watermark not really performing well. But for my own case, I advise you keep the person watermark on the video. That's simply a way to give them credit because in one way or the other, this people will come to YouTube, um, YouTube or Facebook one day and then might see their video on there. So when you leave it and give them credit, they also see it as a form of promotion. So even I've also seen people take my YouTube videos and they go use them on Facebook. The only person I had issue with was someone who tried to um, claim the whole video by covering my face and all of that was the only person I had issue with. Apart from that, uh, normally you can just, my videos are not copyrighted. You can take my video and use them. But the thing is that you have to give credit. As I might have a little issue with it, mostly if you try to cover my face of the video and try to claim every single material in the video. So now, for example, with this one, now what I simply do from here is I simply just add them all up together like this. And then you can see the test at the top, you can decide to crop it up by just clicking on the particular video clip. And then you can choose to crop the test out. But for me personally, I will not advise you to crop anything out. The only thing I want you to do here as the editing is simply just scroll the video a little bit and then just get rid of some unnecessary part that are not really needed. Maybe after the fun event has happened, you simply have to cut off the rest part and then delete it off. So now, for example, let me just click on it. And then, so let me say here is where the phone ended for this particular one. So I will just come over here and then click on it again. Then use the split button and then get rid of this other part. So it doesn't look like you are coming to use the full video or something. So click on it, delete the basket. And then now, next up you can actually do here is that in case you want to show your face, you can use the overlay feature. I've already made a video on how you can actually do that. But if you don't want to show your face, also there's no problem. Simply come back to here, it says effect. And then click on video effect. Over here, just look for some free effects. Like for this one, you can use the fading. It's simply to fade in from one clip to another. So I'll just drag it in between here. So you have something like this. So it doesn't just look like you are jumping from one clip to another. So you can just cut your cut and then do this for all of them. Now, some of you might see some videos on TikTok that are over one minute long. Once the video is over one minute, I advise to just cut at the first 30 seconds. Don't take more than 30 seconds per video. This is the secret of it. Whatever video you are taking, don't take more than 30%. Don't take the full video. Just take about 30 seconds of the video and then just take more as many as possible and then just add them together. Now, the benefit of the 30% 30 um, 30 is that, or 30 seconds is that, for example, you took a video of five minutes and then you have to use 30 seconds, 30 seconds, meaning you are going to get a lot of different, different parts of that video to use in separate clips. You simply have to cut out these 30 seconds. Like after every phone event, you cut out that particular phone event to use it for one video. You don't use, maybe you download a video of five minutes. That doesn't mean you should post it all together. No, separate that five minute video into different, different videos. If it's in a case whereby you cannot separate it, just ignore that video and look for videos that will go straight to the phone part and they just take only the phone part and then keep adding them. So when you're, when you're done editing them, cutting and joining, cutting and joining, you also make sure that what the CapCut logo that comes at the very end of every video. So if you've saved videos from CapCut before, you know that at the end of every CapCut video, there is a pop-up of CapCut showing the user handle. That one, you have to cut it off. The only way you give credit to the people is by leaving their watermark on the screen. For that one, you have to leave it. But apart from that one, you get rid of every other CapCut-related stuff. Now, with all of this done, the next thing you simply have to do is that you simply have to hit on where it says export. Now, the video will start exporting. Let the video is done exporting, then you go and upload it. Now, here's a secret for those of you. If you are creating a page whereby you want to post funny videos, now you have to do it as a form of series. Now the first one you can do it um funny clips episode one, funny clips episode two. Because I've seen a lot of people who do up to there's a certain channel I saw is even up to 500 episodes already, and this is really getting a lot of engagement. So you can also give it a try and probably get your Facebook page and YouTube channel monetized without having to show your face. Just get people videos and then re-cut cut out some part that are not needed. Just make it short. Take 30 30 seconds from each of the video before you take from five, 10 videos, you've already gotten a five minute video and then you upload it onto your channel and then just make money from doing that. So this already is, I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like this video 
and also tell me what if you done in this comment section so with that i just said have a lovely day bye